Hi, so I'm just doing a quick video on the Tap Blade Shadow Hammock. Uh, this is particularly the bug net, it's quite unusual, so um, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to use it. It's 70 grams, it's tiny, it's a half bug net, and you can put it on or take it off your hammock um, without undoing any of the suspension things. So you can just put it on if the, the bugs are bad or take it off if it's, it's good, uh, the bugs are out. So just do a quick tutorial on this so you can have a look. So it comes in a little stuff sack. Don't lose a stuff sack, stick it in your pocket. Uh, it's, it's nano no seam netting, so uh, it's very, very light uh, and very strong. I just wanna show you the top bit, which is the main feature of how to put it on and off. So this goes round the top end of your hammock, which I'll show you in a minute. It's got a pig nosed clip like that to create an adjustable bite. And then it's got a normal toggle this end. So what you do is you put it round your hammock, you make a loop, put the toggle through, and then tighten that up. So you've got a nice tight toggle, and then you just adjust your, just adjust your uh, toggle accordingly. And then you've got an adjustable uh, end, gathered end, that you can take on and off uh, without having a continuous loop all the way around all the time. So quite a unique feature just to take it off you just loosen the cord off take your toggle back through and there you go you're ready to go again so I'll put that on the hammock show you that and uh, you can see how that works hammock end now where you want to put your bug net um, this is all suspended now so you just drape your um, bug net over your hammock underneath the ridge line then you can see we've got this all ready. What I tend to do is look for the seam and put the tidy side to the outs to the outside. You'll see why in a minute. It doesn't make a lot of difference, but it's just a bit tidier. So put your around the end, put it through. I'm going to tighten up your bite, your loop, tighten your loop up, then work it round. Put the rest of the netting around the hammock, both sides, and then it's just a matter of tightening it up, cinching it up there, done. So that's now on your hammock, very easy. And all the hammocks I make, I have a little prussic on the ridge line, and then a little mitten hook clip on there, but you could just use your own prussic, um, just make a small enough loop, and you take the middle of the bug net, and it's got this uh, cord attached, which you can remove if you want, all the way along, and then a little toggle at the end, very easy. And then that, the cord just goes in the clip, or you can push the toggle through the knot, and then you just adjust it, and this adjusts the height of your netting, right up high by your ridge line if you want it off your face. Uh, but if you're a long way from your ridge line, um, then you can adjust it down to give you more coverage over your body okay very easy very quick comes to about halfway on your hammock so loads of coverage covers your head and half your body just your legs are sticking out um, probably could get your legs under there as well if you uh, pushed it out so you notice there's a bit of a gap here so in the wind this can flap around a bit so just to help that there's another cord with a toggle and there's some loops and the loops are just big enough for the cord and the toggle to go through, but without too much room. So you just put those through, put the toggle through, and then it will catch. So you can just do this up, and then it will just stop the wind blowing it around and give you a bit of support. You don't want it too tight, because when you get in the hammock, um, sometimes there's a bit of give and things. Uh, so you want to adjust that so it's just right to stop it blowing around, but keep, uh, keeping it enough so you can get in and out without it uh, stretching. So that's the, the bug net. As I said, it's a really generous bug net. Um, so you can see this, you go inside, you get in your sleeping bag or your top quilt, and then you just tuck this around your quilt, um, and then it'll keep all the bugs out. You can use your prusset to lower or raise it, or you can go here and use your little toggle in a different angle on a really high one. It's up to you. And there you go. 
loosen it off a bit, I think. There you go. Okay, so there you go. So this is the um, half bug net for the tap blade shadow. It works very, very well. Super light, super easy to take on and off without undoing all your hammock, which a lot of them you need to. Um, and uh, that's how you use it. Okay, thanks for that. Bye.